Yo, the first reason I got into this from the jump before all this black magic started was to help handicapped people, disabled people, and uh, um, what was it? It was something else I wanted to do. And, um, oh yeah, help people that was on drugs. Because I noticed the little help that they used to normally have now done turned into such a lucrative business. You, the money you need to go and get yourself together need to be the money they give you after they done got you together and you done went off and made motel or some shit. God damn, they be want uh, we need a hundred thousand dollars for your enrollment fee. After that, it'd be fifty thousand dollars. Like, damn, it only take five days to recover from the shit. I'm gonna pay you a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for five fucking days. You better be them, uh, them two ones I want by my side. Them two, um, oh, I gotta get their name. The white doctor, the male white doctor, and the uh female, white uh, uh, counselor or whatever, they all, they used to have that show on TV, bro. Them all look bad, bro. Them high priests, though. <clears throat> I want both of them, though. I paid them on the time, though. Fix me, put me right back together. Just imagine a person like me get trained by them, too. You know, most people get signed and they go straight in to exercise and get the dick big and shit. You know what I'm saying? ready to do stupid shit. I mean, I guess that's good stuff. I don't know, depending on what lifetime is. But me personally, I want to redesign, redefine, and make this design better than what it was, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, make God happy. So, I would like, that would be the first thing I me. Regardless, I would have went to the doctor, y'all. You know? Regardless, I would have turned my, after this, I got beat down. Y'all out here talking about drugs. I should be on all the drugs. That ain't shit compared to what I went through. I should be dead. Y'all out here talking crazy nigga shit. Yeah, I'm gonna count everybody, all the niggas that keep talking like that all the way up till I get wealthy. I'm gonna act like I never knew you. So you better change your attitude now. You better change it quick and fast. Even if you gotta play narcissists. Because I've been battling narcissists my whole life. Not normal, evil people. So you better step your game up. God put it that way because he knew the world was going to be this way by the time we die, y'all. And that's sad to say, y'all. We got to thank God for that. All of y'all this breathing right here at this moment was built to be in this moment. Look at Elon Musk. That man went from crying tears. Well, you know, that's the that's the washing machine to the soul right there. Well, what that dude say? That's all. Some shit. What what that dude say? Life, or not life, but um, uh, stick up here and this kind of stuff. Laundry room to the nigga, so some shit. But he right though. When you cry, bro, you just feel a, a, another sense of relief and peace. I I hate it cause I couldn't cry. But now that I've been in this dark night and so I've been crying like a baby. It's been feeling good too. But I ain't never cried my whole life. I cried my whole life. I had to fake my tears two or three times. So, including them two or three times, my whole life I only cried five times. So, three times was fake. I go and put water on my face, on some gangster shit, y'all get it. I'm, I'm playing the whole role out here, y'all. See, that's why I never get back in the game. I make some movies, though. I'm on some all the night shit, bro. That's why I like them OG. I hung with the OG when I was out there in the street at 12. I was hanging with niggas older than me. You know what I'm saying? When I should have been hanging with the niggas that I had to slang with, but I would go hang with the junkies and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't junkies, you know, people call them that. But, uh, 
I would fuck with the uh the OG, the OG, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. I was a junkie of anything. But you know, they fits call, they OG, they just don't give a fuck how they look compared to this generation. So we automatically, like y'all do me, y'all write me off for being a junkie all the time because when my hair look really, and that's it. Y'all add the other shit. That's because you don't love yourself though. Because it's always a person that look like me talking shit. You can't hate your reflections, bro. Blame me for hitting all the holler, y'all. I seem like everybody barking. But the problem is, is that the enemy is making it to my doorstep. I thought I had some dope fans out there. I thought I had some motherfuckers out there looking out for me. There ain't supposed to be nobody at this doorstep. Nobody. Unless it's a producer, somebody of importance, and you gonna know when they drive up, nigga. Otherwise, nobody. But like I said, E.M., he was a uh, Bill Ford. Cause you know, he, he, driving a, he driving a yacht that uh, nobody ever wants to drive, even if they could. And he went plowing through there. Just like Dan and Dad did. Them boys went plowing through there. See, y'all don't know what plowing means, do you? You know what I'm saying? If you're a country cat, you know what plowing means. You know what I'm saying? That's how them Dan and Dad and um, E.M. Gates and Bill Gates and all them, them niggas went plowing up through there, bro. You know what I'm saying? They went plowing up through there. That's a different thing. What, what I'm trying to do? And uh, uh, Charleston White plowing up through there, bro. Ain't nobody finna go around them doors, man, do the hoosh gosh and stuff. Man, I'm not trying to do all that, bro. It really ain't time, bro. I barely want to fuck pussy. <laughs> I'm so goddamn frustrated with the world ending, and I got to do this, prepare for this, prepare for this. And then I got to be on the spiritual side. I got to be energized up just to even go over there. And if I don't make three appointments over there, here come God. You know what I'm saying? It's like, then everybody say rest, rest, rest. But then they right back in the, you know what I'm saying? And I understand the spiritual side because I'm trained on a job. But man, all the rest of this crap, and I ain't getting paid. I've been getting robbed, been doing other people's jobs, been making hundreds of thousands of people rich. That shit done got old, y'all. All my life, I had to watch people uh, rock my design in front of me. I ain't gonna bring up the name. I'm one phone company reached out and said, you really can't say this is your phone. I'm glad y'all took that price down, though. Disrespectful, I had to be a major company like that and do some shit like that to somebody like me. You crazy as fuck, man. I bet you got financial problems bad, too. Don't worry, my boy E.M. got the pocket ready. <laughs> I get it. What's wrong with you? You say, what now? You say, you got to do what? How is that? Bro, you got to one of the towels of the towels of all the towels. You say, you got to do, you owe what? Well, I tell you what. Since we, you know, we ain't cool. This is E.M. This is how E.M. addressing the situation. You can tell where he walked. He done took enough. <laughs> that buddy came up and there. He took enough. That nigga came in with Obama walk. He ain't like, hit me with it. I'ma hit you with it. You need this, you need that. They got you right here and they got you right there. And this is a major corporation. You don't need it out there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do the junkie move on. I know you my boy and all you who you are. But this time you tic-tac-toe and you fail. And left your toe down the drain, bro. Your toe got locked up or something. You just fail. This is how we're going to fix this. I'm going to give you this. And that's going to be just enough to fix that. Take it or leave it. Ain't nobody else going to do that. And then that's going to cover up all this. And ain't nobody going to know that that's what happened to you. Awesome real power. Okay, okay, okay. If, why you got to do me? Because you didn't really like me in the first place. Then that's how, they, that's how you do it, y'all. When people come into your energy, 
and you a person of importance and power like me, you come into my inn and you step on my shoes. I'm gonna say, mm, no problem. They gators, they moors. <laughs> Or I might just look at you and put this little joker smile on my face like you got. You know what I'm saying? So, and both of them different impressions mean something different that I'm not gonna tell. You see what I'm saying? So, that's the way that goes. You know what I'm saying? But if somebody come into my energy and they disrupt my place of business and they disrupt my music and they disrupt my money and they disrupted my time. Oh, check me there now. Don't matter if they got a gun. I told you I had not come in and do me in, bro. This nigga came in there, it was some shot, it was some shot town niggas. We all cool, still cool. But they was who they was. They weren't shot town, they was from a place of bull shot town, my bad. But they was, uh, they was, uh, they, they did what they did. They was gangsters. You know what I'm saying? They was real gangsters. They know you're talking about it. Anyway, come down here. I'm having problems with my neighborhood and stuff that I didn't even know I was having. So, uh, I guess all the time people started, you know, paying them, paying them stuff to do me in. So, but what they didn't know, we had already got cool. And so, and then when they came here, when they came from up wherever they came from, they came straight to my house because they heard it was studio. Respect. We made lots of nice music. Lots of it, lots of it. And, uh, you know, one thing led to the next. We all went all separate ways. Got tired of recording, blah, 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 same shit. So, uh, um, I'm having issues with my brother and shit, my brother in law. And he, 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 he a high priest. And, uh, he older, and you know, he, he, you know, he my teacher here. And, uh, anyway, he get in his feelings, though. That's why I ain't dealing with them. Like, that's why I preach it on hand together too much all the time. But he get in his feelings. And, uh, uh, I guess he paid him when he, once he, once he paid him something, hey, it was a go from there. So, anyway, the dude came down now. Uh, I'm in the studio getting ready to lock up. It's in a little building. It's in one of them little buildings and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't but like a, a whatever, 20 by 20 or something like that, 50 by 50 or something. It ain't no 50 by 50 or 20 by 20, I don't know. Anyway, um, small building, you know what I'm saying? With some nice studio equipment in it at the time. Really nice equipment. So it was an easy catch to the naked eye. Well, by this time, we done spent three, four months together doing music. So we all pretty much know each other, good and bad. So when you did them, because it was like five of them at a time. They was all like brothers, like the niggas together, you know. <laughs> okay, I bet they just each other, fuck with it. They gang sweet now. The niggas stick together, though. Know? That's a good thing, it's a beautiful thing. But uh, anyway, um, uh, um, uh, um, them can't, he slid through and he was like, hey, hey, bro, just go ahead and do what you gotta do. And I was like, what you talking about? And I saw him, he had his pistol out and shit. I said, damn, they didn't tell you about me? He said, what you mean? I said, we in too close proximity, bro. I would fuck you up, dude. Just take this shot of liquor, man. Let's do some music. He said, damn, dog." That shit caught me fucked up. They, he said, man, I don't, I don't see it like that. How the fuck do you, that's what catches everybody off guard. How you play these roles like that? We can't figure you out. And I said, you're not supposed to. He said, that's the real shit I heard, bro. I never seen a guy again. You know what I'm saying? Niggas around like a motherfucker, though. They could go, that whole team could go. God damn, they were bad. They had a swag dog that was so out of this. Chicago got a rap swag, y'all. Chicago got a goddamn rap swag, y'all. That ain't nobody heard. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's a swag over there. 
Ain't nobody heard. It's like a New Orleans swag. I don't know if these cats is so gutter down. Don't nobody want to fuck with them. And they don't want to go in their neighborhood to fuck with these niggas. Because these niggas will really do you the fuck in. Because they like slum. They real slum. But that goddamn swag, bro. I saw them niggas teach a person who couldn't rap. At all didn't care for rapping. He was, he was the, uh, he was the Mandingo. He didn't have to. He was too cool. He was too cool. And, uh, that sucker, bro, they, I walked in the house to, uh, do some shit before I record them, because, you know, once you start recording, it's going to take a minute. I come out there, this nigga, I already know how to rap professionally. I couldn't have been in the house no hour or two hours, y'all. I said, y'all, show me that shit. How y'all do that shit? They was like, we can't. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they didn't show me. <laughs> they really didn't show me, y'all. They were just saying, we can, you can see us do it as we go. And I would see them do it. Them niggas were bad, bro. <laughs> they got a swag over there so goddamn ruthless, y'all. It ain't Chicago, though. It's above that place. They call it some shit. I don't know. If I get in that time. Y'all need to go get them damn boys, put some money in them boys. That's a goddamn shit. Oh, Lord, please forgive me. God, I'm sorry, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus told you to take me deep, real. God didn't, though. You did. By yourself. I ain't feel God, do it. Now, you know what? Um, um, you know what? Whatever, whatever. I don't want to hear that. These voices are getting louder, y'all. I'm starting to hear them now. I ain't used to hear no voices. I ain't hear voices now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I mean, it's great shit. But it's only when I'm vibing too high. So if I go out and do a couple of stupid shit, like smoke about two or three cigarettes, drink a shot of liquor, uh, go over to some nigga house I really don't care for, and talk some shit, and come back to the high of my energy level, get low enough to where I won't hear that shit no more. Real shit, y'all work just like that. I've been dealing with it my whole life. Cause I came in the world like my twin. That's why I like her so much. Cause them outbursts she has, what she don't know is, that's what my family try to write me off at. See, my family ain't seen me in a minute cause I've been hustling, bro. Me and my ex been doing it for a while. I don't know what the fuck. She, she went and fought with some magic and a demon jumped in or something. Fucked the whole world up. God damn, we was on it though. God damn, we was on it, bro. We was sitting at the table like Jay-Z said, all the niggas at the table. You didn't have to fuck to get there. Nigga, we was on it, bro. And dog the only rich white folks looked at me and said, y'all cool, y'all got it, y'all can work these computers, but you still gonna lose because you ain't got no muscle. Goodbye. <laughs> I've been down here ever since, y'all. Every time I thought about getting up, I thought about what he said, I just sit back there. I'm like, wow. Y'all know what that means, right? He's talking about unity. Niggas ain't got it, y'all. That's why white people can't do but so much for us. Because y'all want them to put one person, let's say y'all want somebody to put me on. Automatically, white folks know you telling them to do it. <laughs> so it's like, okay, we, 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 we'll give him some money. But to make him like us, I don't know, he might go out and go in that room and do a couple of oosh guys with what's called, man, and shit. Fuck that shit, man. Because you ain't us. You get what I'm saying, y'all? It's like somebody white coming to the hood. I don't care who they is. They coming to the hood, the hood is of the hood. One white person, he's saying, you motherfuckers gonna listen to me. And I want y'all to give me everything you got. And I want to look better than y'all every day. And I ain't got to do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to start looking at the flip side of this shit. And the only reason why we doing this is because we, the vast majority of us love to sit down. Nine times ten, either way, go if you're working or not, you sitting down. I fucks with white folk, dog. They hunt. All of them, the, the women, the whores, the drug addicts, all of them. They all hunt. <laughs> they all getting money. They all, the brokest, bombiest looking one probably at least still got a hundred acres. Strong, paid off. So 
And you, when you hear the story, because, you know, well, for me, I'm dealing with some redneck. When you hear the story, you can't say, oh, it's because you white. <laughs> you can't say that story, you're a redneck, bro. You know what I'm saying? You probably took it now, but it ain't going to be no fucking peaceful story like you think it is. So, not that kind of money y'all got to know, bro. No way. No way. I got to say, down here in this country, no jack play. We might not be just brightest, but we strong in every fashion and form outside of that. And that's why women cling to us. Little dick gonna be dead on my left. Women love us, bro. And they stay on us because they try to throw black magic. They'll keep us um, shadow bands. <laughs> I mean, uh, keep the dog chain on you, bro. So they can go out there and do it, get, you know, run the way up, and then they come back to you and say, oh, baby, I got a little bit left for you. All right, that's how it is, that's how but you know, you know to say no and yes to that shit, so keep it moving. You know. Nowadays though, you got women, I, I figure they just selling their soul because these guys you know what they're like the men it used to be. I figure they just selling their soul and it's just like a soul tie or some shit, I don't know. But nowadays women will bend over backwards and kill their good husband. And they um uh, hard working man for a scumbag. And I see it. Like like I said, I grew up in a pimp environment. I go back and check on some of these people. And they still the pimp still got the same two hoes. And them same two hoes are the same two hoes who left great families. And they stay in them predicaments doing three times as much more than they would for the guy they left. And they don't bitch and complain or nothing, they'll sleep on the bed, bro. And these be rich, rich women, or sometimes almost wealthy women. And they get with a pimp, and that pimp over time, the pimp will even try to get rid of them. Like a lot of them get rid of them. And they, most pimps I know, they stay by themselves. But, Sometimes they can't get rid of them, so they'll keep them, but they a straight dog them, bro. Like, they make them, I ain't gonna tell, say no more. We ever make a movie, though, we'll get down with it. But, uh, these pimp, like, I can tell the movie, that's how I know ain't nobody really, the, if it is pimping and shit going on, everybody moving in signal file line, bro. Everybody moving in, uh, ABC order. You know, uh, straight line fashion, or whatever, you say shit. When they turn me, you doing the exact same thing somebody else doing, and that shit got to go. That's what got him at it right there. Ain't no need for seven million people to be here, y'all, if we gonna move like Terminator. You need to be terminated. That's a, that's a slap in God's face, because his son died for that. And now when his son's supposed to return back, you showing his son that Y'all still gonna do what he died for? And you're doing it so perfect. Okay, guys, this shit fucked up. I'm sorry, I gotta get off of y'all. I get, I get tired, I start cussing. And I'm sleepy, I've been drawing on this damn wall all day. <clears throat> this badass. Nah, it's a good market though, especially coming from the dollar store. Dollar Tree, I'm getting the market, but that blue though, it was actually made at the hardware, bro. They throw a different type of blue. My blue is different, y'all. I be seeing all these blues on these cars. But if I put clear coat on my blue, I bet it'd be hell, boy. This is just basic paint right here. They made this at the Morgan Hardware. They made some good ass paint. They'll make it right there in your face. OG weight. For real, bro. Morgan Hardware. And damn. Like I said, the uh, chiropractor down here is probably one of the best ones I've ever been at, too. And I done been around enough of the world to know enough of it to say I done been around. And uh, when it comes down to doctors and shit, I get serious. But I got to thank God for my chiropractor here in Livonia and uh, Morgan Harbor and shit. I hope they move them in Walmart or something that they bring to Walmart down here. And make some kind of deal. They need to start doing that anyway. 
when you bring a business into somebody else's community, you need to make a deal with the people that's already working in them kind of departments and then move them in the department that you're going to have to replace their department. That's going to save all that arguing, y'all. But no, you got your friends coming back. You got your new wall. Okay. Well, look, I got your sister. Need a job. And, sister, sister. and then you got this sorry bastard up there. Keep moving up the ranking. And nobody knows how because he don't know a thing. And the whole time it's because it's your brother. You got your brother, the owner of Walmart, working at Walmart. God, be my damn say. <clears throat> Taking good people position, job people that go to school for. And he 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 uh he doing he doing the whoosh gosh and the terminator everything on the desk everything on the desk but the paperwork. White man got so bad he, he got incense burning everywhere. <laughs> You go over that bitch, say he did everything. Damn, bro. You see with my girl today? Give me a check, bro. You gonna step with her? Oh, man. It's getting like that in them factory, y'all. It gets so bad, bro. The husband got to come in there and check the owner, or the, or the manager. Hey, bro, you gonna have to pay me or get beat up? For real, I done seen them walk right into a plant and do that shit. Then they own them after that. I done watched it, walk off, didn't nobody else see it, and I knew the job was finna start uh, plumbing right then, and that's exactly what it do. I, I can't say nothing to nobody, but I know exactly what's going on in the bathroom at three in the morning, when they should be doing an uh, inventory. They switch positions. They switched just for this and two of the computer got porn on them. Two of the exposed computer to the whole plant. <laughs> I mean, it's all in your face to the point where it's forcing you to do it. It's like almost where the husband and the wife ain't got a choice. You got to either be blind or stupid or, or something. That's why people question me. But I got a, I got a sight of God. God, God control these eyes. I like to see it role play or look at it on porn from time to time, but I don't, I don't, I don't like that shit in real life. I shouldn't even look at it on porn only because porn is like some kind of fucked up shit when it comes down to what God really got originally sets for. But hell, nobody knows what that's for anymore, so. It's like it's up in the air when it comes to that little stuff. And I guess now you can like, like thank somebody for that. Now, that's probably buried under somebody else. But it might be better that you not even know it now from this point, right? Unless you want to tell your kids, kids. I wouldn't teach it. It's a no puppy, you drive the world crazy. If they knew what sex was really for, people go crazy, bro. People go crazy. Women well, be the first one. <laughs> they be trying to find Satan to uh, the leading woman they sell. What a bitch at? I don't give a damn to myself a day. <laughs> it's like you, you, you're bound to just down regardless. You get what I'm saying? The way the female body is made spiritually and physically. And they're, they they ain't got like really two or three sins that can truthfully send them to hell. And believe it or not, y'all, a lot of them without understanding don't even, you know, miss a lot of these. But it's one that's vast majority of the whole world just be fucking them up. And uh, I don't know, I ain't gonna say no more. There's only one guy I know on earth that's teaching this stuff. And the way I get it from his teaching, I don't even know if that's the way he see it. I have to meet him. I think his name is Seven. Or something here across the sea now though. Seven hundred or seven. He a young guy though. Cause I wanted to go to him, but at the time I had a pretty girl. And I said, dude is a pretty boy. I ain't trying to say he a pretty boy, but he, he, he he's conscious, fully awoke. He just had all the <laughs> I said, hey, take him my woman around that dude. He do therapy and everything. And my mind was just 
in the uh, in the porn. I was looking at thinking about some porn shit. Like, hell no, nah, you can get my girl back there. Uh uh, I paid. I think his name was Seven though. He also got the answer to that homosexual shit. I think, in a way, I did. I got it off this shit. <clears throat> and like I said, it, it, it's a topic that probably, it does need to be discussed, but it ain't gonna be my name, cause I ain't, that ain't my job. My job is still complicated. I still don't want to do my own job, more or less do another chosen one job. That's somebody else's chosen job. I'm going to be real with y'all. It's probably going to be a male or a female in the LGBTQ community. And then y'all need to welcome that person as a normal person. Don't be pushing them back. This is chosen one shit. You understand me, people out there? Y'all can play that shit out there. That this person over here shit, this person over there. You can't do that over here with God's people. You got to let God judge these people. But I think it's going to be a LGBT chosen. I'm going to be the first person to say that. That be attacked for and get my ass killed and kicked all over. Who gives a fuck? Keep going and get in line. And that person, I talked to a person about this, but he had, he said, I think his mind was on the hoosh gosh. <laughs> And I just, I just hate it because I spent so much time in telling him that because he don't know how far back I had to to get that information. And I don't even remember it now. So if y'all see him out there, he know me and I know him, I ain't got to say his name. Y'all ask him because he a genius. He remember what I told him. And I think he should do it. Because we went to school together all our life, elementary up. So I don't got no problem with what he, I don't care nothing about this shit anyway, I don't even see this shit. That's why I'm telling you, when it comes to our chosen one, you're going to have to look at us like flowing waters. And that goes to the whole world. And if a chosen one don't feel like flowing water, they not no chosen. A chosen one is so powerful that it can be an elite chosen one. Grew up as an elite. No nothing but elite. And he ain't got no problem walking through the um, through the door of this house. Might not want to touch everything. I understand it, so. But he ain't got no problem walking through the whole house and understanding my story. That's power. Same, likewise, opposite effect. You know what I'm saying? A poor... I would go into an elite house like this with no drawers on. And I mean, I got my shorts on. I ain't got, I ain't wore drawers in a long time, y'all. They, they, they robbed me, they robbed me good. And the little clothes they left me, I ain't even, I, I, use, I use them for walk mats, you know. And I, no disrespect to nothing, but damn, they stole my shit. Oh, I gotta dry, I gotta wear the burglar clothes and eat the burglar food. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm out of here.